me how y'all doing today it's your boy demetrius one half of the long life without kids just now leaving work or whatever i've been going back and forth for probably a couple of weeks now trying to decide what i was gonna make my first uh video on my wife's been kind of on me about making some videos so i figured today probably be a good day to make a video and i had been going back and forth uh for a few weeks on how what i was gonna make my first video on so i decided that uh i would make my topic uh bell's palsy um uh, i guess it was uh 2000 in the no, it was the beginning of 2015 martin luther king day as a matter of fact i was working for u.s foods at the time uh, I got up to go to work and i noticed that uh this side of my face which is the left side of my face was kind of drooping somewhat didn't feel like i was having a stroke or whatever because i felt just fine but my face was drooping my mouth my uh, my speech was slurred my mouth was kind of crooked or whatever and i knew something was going on but didn't know exactly what the situation was well anyway make a long story short um I ended up going to the hospital. Come to find out, I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. Now, for, for those of you who don't know what Bell's palsy is, like me, I had never heard of Bell's palsy. I was like, what the hell is Bell's palsy or whatever? Um, it's a temporary paralysis of one side of the face. Now, as far as I've, I've read up on Bell's palsy, there is some treatments out there. I haven't, I haven't gotten any in, in the, I haven't gotten into any of them, but there is some, there is supposed to be some treatments out there. And then I've, I've, I've grown to know more people who have Bell's palsy over the past few years. Like I said, this happened to me in 2015. It's 2021, so I've been having it for. Uh, six years now so 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 much for a temporary paralysis because I've had mine for six years um, it's gotten better over the years but you know six years into this thing I mean I don't know if if if, if it'll ever get you know 100% or whatever there are there are people out there who get it and their face gets back to normal um, there are people like me who get it and it, it may get back to normal and it may not. So, I'm just kind of living with this thing day by day and just dealing with it. Uh, I've, I've come to embrace it. And for those who uh, may be suffering from Bell's palsy or anything out there you may be suffering from, you know, my advice is to just embrace it. There ain't really a whole lot you can do about the whole situation. So, you just got to kind of embrace it or whatever. I'm still fly, still handsome as hell. So, hey, you know, it's Bell's palsy and I. Um, it really don't really hinder me too much. You know, some days my, my eye is a little bit, you know, more closed than, than other days. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, so give me some comments. Leave some comments or whatever if you got any questions or whatever. There's research out there on Bell's palsy if you want to learn any more information about it. Like I say, I mean, it's 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 not I don't think it's like a hereditary thing or whatever. Now there is there they, they do say that it could have been caused from some type of um, like infection or something like that, but the days uh, leading up to me getting Bell's palsy, uh, I wasn't sick or anything. Didn't have didn't have uh, any symptoms of being sick. Now, at the time, I was experimenting with a um, allergy shots. Um, I was taking some allergy shots a few weeks before that, and I was taking allergy shots uh, leading up to the day. Now, my doctor said that he doesn't think that it caused the Bell's palsy to happen, but I mean, it, it may have and it may not have. So there may be some people out there who may have you know similar a uh, similar thing that may have happened um i know quite a few people that help uh, help bell's palsy some of it's worse than mine uh some of it's uh, not as really as bad as mine like i said you know right side of my face is fine but the left side you know you notice that i have you may think it's a lazy eye but it's not a lazy eye it's bell's palsy so you know 
uh, for my people out there who's got Bell's palsy or anything like, you know, any something like this that may have affected the way you look or, uh, you know, don't let it affect the way you feel and embrace this thing or whatever and don't let it define who you are. Uh, I mean, I guess that'd be my, yes, I guess that'd be my advice to anybody who suffers from this or any, anything else or whatever. Um, as always, you know, this is the, the, I'm, like I said, I'm Demetrius. I'm one half of the Longs, Life Without Kids. My wife is currently out of town in Memphis right now. And, uh, I'm here, hey, I'm running a couple of errands after work or whatever. But I figured I'd, you know, reach out today, do a little video on Bell's Palsy. Tell me what you think or whatever. If you got any, you know, give me your likes. And, and, and as always, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can see more videos or whatever. And uh, I appreciate y'all listening. Y'all have a good day. Out.